Hi, I'm Mary Ladrick, Director of Education at the Museum of the Shenandoah Valley. And this is Take a Look Tuesday, where each Tuesday we share one piece of art from the MSV collection with you just to enjoy it together. So let me get rid of myself here and I will pull up this week's piece of art. This week we're going to be looking at a beautiful landscape. Just take a moment and let your eyes roam over this picture. What do you notice? Maybe you notice the water in the middle of the picture, reflecting the hillside around it. Maybe you notice the trees in the foreground and the shadows. Maybe you're seeing the two figures by the log look like they might be on a hunting expedition. Maybe you've noticed the sailboat drifting along or that structure over on the hillside. Or maybe your eye is drawn to the clouds in the sky, the very luminous, soft looking clouds over the hills in the distance. What do you think it would feel like if you were in this picture? What do you think it would smell like? What sounds do you think you might be hearing? Is it a warm day or a cool day? Do you think it's breezy or still? Just soak it all up. If you'd like a little more information about the painting, and I'm sure you're curious, this is view of West Point and was painted in 1827 by an American artist named Thomas Doty. And this is West Point on the Hudson River in New York. So it is the site where the Military Academy is now. Um, it was originally a fort that was built 1778. And in 1779, George Washington made it his headquarters. Um, but the picture's not really about that, is it? To me, the picture is about the beautiful surroundings. It's, it's about um, the beauty of nature here. And when Thomas Doty was painting and America was still a young country, a lot of artists were interested in capturing that um, beauty and power of nature, of this, this beautiful um, continent that we're on. So Doty actually was influential on many other artists who came after him and are loosely called the Hudson River School of Painters. Um, for example, Thomas Cole and Robert Duncanson are considered Hudson River painters. And some of the elements that Doty uses in this painting are things that you'll find in common in some of these other artists' works, such as these trees in the foreground that kind of frame the picture. They're a little ragged. They show some of the um, effects of time on nature. Um, very often there'll be a body of water in these paintings that lead your eye off into the distance. Uh, the lovely clouds, very luminous skies. Um, and sometimes you'll see sort of fanciful um, man-made structures that add an element to the paintings but aren't really the focus of the paintings. And if you're curious, and I know you are, this is what West Point, New York looks like today, but you can see the setting is very similar to what Doty had in his painting. And while I've got you here, I just wanted to draw your attention to our website. If you go to the msv.org, you can click on the collections tab here, and that will take you to this page where you can browse the MSV collection. And if you click on there, um, you will find lots of images of different objects and paintings in the collection. And next week we'll be exploring something different. So I hope to see you again for Take a Look Tuesday next week. Take care. <laughs>